Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a spring haul. I have some accessories and clothing items that I wanna share with you. I have things from Key Australia, Love Culture, Ross, Aldo, and then some online store that I found on Instagram. So yeah, let's get started. So I wanna start with the accessories that I got. I got three things from Key Australia, and the first are these heart-shaped sunglasses. They're like gold mirrored. Oh my God, these are so damn cute. I actually got these back in February, but I specifically bought these to wear during this time, you know, like the hot weather, and I thought they were just the cutest thing. These are from Key Australia, but I bought them on Nordstrom because I had a gift card from there, but look, how cute are these? Like, you can't really tell in the camera because I'm like indoors how mirrored they are, but if in the sun, oh, they just look so badass, and I think they're just so cutesy, and they scream summer to me because of the hearts. They actually have these in red as well, but the gold ones just spoke to me because I feel like they go with like more. What I really love about these is that the hearts aren't like too huge so it doesn't like overpower my face. It's still like funky looking glasses, you know, cutesy, but they're not too like out there because the hearts are like little so that's why I love them. I think they're so damn cute. So another thing that I got from Key, I actually got this when they had like a friends and family 20% off, was this like snake skin print zip case for the sunglasses. So it's just a rectangular shaped case and then it has a zipper right here and you just pop them right here. Look, let me show you so you just put them in like this I wish honestly I wish this would be thicker I'm a little skeptical about whether it's gonna bend them or not but like all, I read all the reviews and they said that it actually protected their glasses so I was like okay I'm gonna take all these people word for it so we'll see I absolutely fell in love with this print because it's something that's super trendy right now and I've never seen anything like this so I was like oh I gotta have it and I needed a new case because I recently lost mine at the mall oh my god so disappointing so the one that I lost was the one that came with my high key minis you know the collaboration with Desi Perkins it was like the clear case that said Key Australia and then Desi Perkins and I love that case because I felt like it really protected my glasses and then oh, I freaking lost it so I'm like dang I need to get like a new one you know so unfortunately they don't sell those hard plastic cases in the Key website I checked because I really wanted that one again so I settled for this one like the fabric kind but I'm glad I got this one because this one's like something like totally unique and different now the last thing that I got from Key I am beyond beyond obsessed with oh my god so it's this fanny pack right here snake skin print as well dude like this is something i totally wouldn't normally go for but as soon as i saw the print and it was a fanny pack i've been wanting to try fanny packs i was like let me just get out of my comfort zone and try it out you know give myself some style so i actually wore this a few days ago and it oh my god so damn comfortable you guys have no idea like my hands were so free to do whatever the hell they wanted like i didn't have to feel like the heaviness of a purse right here you know and everything that i needed fit here like, it's tiny, but the essentials definitely fit in here. Oh my god. This is just the best purchase ever. Oh my god, I freaking love it. So they have this color, and then they have an all black one that's snake print as well. So both of the colors are actually out of stock right now, but as soon as that black one goes on sale, honestly, I think I'm going to get it because I am so damn obsessed with this. Oh my god, it's like the most convenient thing in the world, and shit, this is just so, so good. So to give you some size reference, let me put in my phone so I can show you. Look, so this is a bag. This is my phone, iPhone 7. Not the Plus, it's the regular one. So look, and there's still room in there. So the good thing about this, it has this, like, it's kind of like a belt. It's pretty much what they call them, a belt bag. But on the Key website, it's called a bum bag. You could adjust it to your waist. I didn't wear it on my waist. I wore it because my jeans weren't that high-waisted. I kind of wore it a little bit. I don't even know what the hell. So your waist is here, just a little bit below it. So I adjusted it to fit inside my belt loops. And you could also wear it like this. This is how they had it on the website. You know, kind of like the fashionistas wear just right here. I don't know if I would be down to wear it like this. I would feel weird. But yeah, the fashionistas wear it right here. But for me, I'm going to wear it around my waist. You know, straight up fanny pack. But yeah, this is, oh my god, so bomb. And you need to get yourself one. What I love about this one is how unique it is. Like the print, it just spoke to me. This with like just a plain outfit, I feel is like going to take my outfit to the next level. That's why I was like, I need this. And you know freaking fanny packs right now, as much as you think they're ugly, they're like super stylish right now. So you need to jump on the train and get yourself one. This one, because this one is, oh my god. Now moving on to what I got from Aldo. I got this little tiny handbag right here. It's like a gray color. It's like faux leather. So it's just a small little square. Look how cute. And then it just has my 
essentials in there. It's a very, very little purse, but I wanted a little purse because I don't really carry a lot in my bag. For some reason, I wanted a gray bag. I don't know why this time around I didn't want like a pop of color because I usually wear a pop of color and sometimes I feel like my purse doesn't match with my outfit and I don't really like changing my purses according to my outfit. As weird as that sounds, I don't. So I wanted like a neutral color and I thought gray would be nice. So I found this one at Aldo. I'm like very, very picky when it comes to everything that I buy. So I wanted a specific style. I wanted it to be a satchel. So I wanted it to have these two little handles. But when I have these handles, I need them to like fall down you know i hate when they are like permanently sticking up so i'm just very like specific with the things that i want so once i found this one i wish it would have been a little bit bigger like at first when i first started wearing it i was like this thing is so damn little like what the hell am i gonna do with this like i can't fit anything but the more that i'm using it the more that i actually like it because it's not the biggest but it's like it's not like i carry a lot of shit anyways you know so this was super good even though like see my wallet and my sunglasses case barely sticks out i could zip it it zips up so that's good it's very little but i feel like it's very handy and i could use it as a crossbody because it has this strap or i could use it on my arm because it has these like that you know it's little but i mean it fits my essentials what more do i need but yeah each season i like changing bags so for spring rocking this one right here and this one was from aldo so those were my accessories now let's move on to clothes i only have a few items as well and these two things were from love culture so i got these palazzo pants from there like this floral print these are super huge this season as well look so it's they're just those super wide leg pants that's like very fresh lightweight material i think i'm gonna live in these type of pants for spring and summer because it's so damn hot here and i want something that's like very lightweight because you know jeans tend to be very hot and i'm a girl that likes to wear her jeans so i'm gonna trade on my jeans for something like this i really really like these because of the print palazzo pants tend to be in stripes like vertical stripes so then when i saw that they came in like a floor and this is like a pretty super pretty floor i was like you know i like myself some unique shit so i was like yeah i need these this was actually a set so it had the matching top like a crop top but i tried on the top and i felt like it was too big for me even the small felt a little too big like i didn't fill it up right so i was like nah, let me just stick to just the bottoms because i really really like them so these are super high waisted so I can wear them with like a crop top or like a bodysuit. And even though they're like super baggy and I have like a small frame, I don't feel like the bagginess overpowers me. I feel like it's a good fit, you know, because it's kind of cinch it at the waist so you're going to be small here and kind of like big and flowy at the bottom. It's kind of like if you're wearing a maxi skirt, like a flowy maxi skirt. The only way you can tell that you're not wearing a maxi skirt is when you walk and you see that you have legs. So yeah, I love the material of these. I love the print and I can't wait to rock these. So this next shirt is from Love Culture as well. It's this off-the-shoulder gingham top. I love the color because it's like a baby blue and I don't really have baby blue stuff. So I was like, yes. Gingham is another super trendy thing right now. Gingham is like everywhere. You can find it in black, red, pink, any color, you name it. I saw this one in black and blue, but I wanted to get something that I didn't already have. And I tend to have a lot of black stuff. So I was like, let me go for the light blue. And I love this one. So it has like a smocked bodice. This tends to hug you because it's like super stretchy. And then the off the shoulder has like the ruffle. So an off the shoulder ruffle. And then it has a little like bow here. I could have done without this like slit right here. I wish it just would have been one big ruffle. But I guess it makes it a little bit different. So I originally got this to wear with like high waisted white jeans. Or with like a denim skirt. But I feel like it's going to look way better with white jeans. Because the white on white is just going to make it stand out more. I don't know. But this is kind of different than my usual style. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm having a style crisis. I feel like I lost my style. I don't dress the way I used to dress. I used to be girly all the time and want to dress up and just accessorize and shit. And now I'm just very like t-shirt and jeans. I don't know. I definitely lost my mojo with that. So I feel like I need to get my style back. Get some sort of style back because I just feel so damn lost with my style. That's why for some reason I haven't really been shopping for clothes lately. So that's why I only have a few things. I used to always shop all the damn time. But now it's like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is, but I feel like somehow I need to get my style back. Lucy needs to get her groove back because it's lost. <laughs> so this next thing that I got are these paper bag waist shorts. Got these from Ross. Um, yes, this is a term, paper bag waist. If you guys don't realize why they're called paper bag waist, you know how with uh, those brown paper bags, when you go like that, it kind of like crunches at the top, you know, when you grab them. So that's kind of what this does to the waist. It like grabs it so yeah so this is like the same material as the palazzo pants very fresh very flowy i know i'm gonna live in something like this for the summer too because it's just like they're very lightweight and you don't get hot easily in something like this because you actually get a breeze and you know so these are cute 
the paper bag is meant to accentuate your waist so I love this so I originally wanted paper bag shorts and like a blue and white stripe but then I saw this color and I was like this is kind of cute like it's something different you usually tend to see blue and white stripes more than you see burgundy and white stripes but this is super pretty because it gives you the right amount of color without being too out there you know even though I like out there colors but sometimes you need a little like something more calm and basic so those were from Ross and Ross right now actually has a lot of paper bag shorts and those palazzo pants the palazzo pants they have them in like all sorts of like prints I actually tried on like four or five the other day but for some reason I didn't like how they fit so with the paper bag shorts and the palazzo pants because of that material it can be a hit or miss so you definitely have to try them on and make sure they like flatter your body so definitely keep that in mind but yeah you need to get yourself some because that's like a huge huge trend right now so when it comes to shopping I like buying stuff that you don't really see on other people you know kind of like unique stuff so this next thing is definitely unique I came across this shop on Instagram their picture was actually promoted on my feed when I was scrolling it like popped up and the shirt that the girl was wearing like immediately spoke to me and I was like let me go on their account so I click on it and I start looking through their stuff and then I just instantly like followed them because I was like this is so like cool and unique. So the shop name is Pinaderia and I think that's so clever because it's kind of like Panaderia but instead of Panaderia it's Pinaderia because they mainly focus on pins but they also have like other stuff as well. And one of the other things that they have is this t-shirt right here that I freaking love. So this t-shirt right here it says Delicada. Tell me you guys know where this kind of like logo is from. So I think it is it a Mexican candy? I don't know. But a mazapan, this is straight up kind of like a, the mazapan logo, you know, which is why it spoke to me. And I also love how it says delicada, because if you know me, you know I am freaking delicada when it comes to everything. If you guys don't know Spanish, delicada means picky. Delicada is delicate, let's just say that. You're delicate, but for me, this meaning delicada is more like I'm picky as hell instead of, oh, I'm delicate. No, not like that. I'm picky as <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, I just love how unique this shirt was because it straight up reminded me of mazapan. And I think they wrote delicada because, you know, mazapan is our delicados. Because you freaking pick it up and that shit just breaks on you. But yeah, anyways. But yeah, it's, it says delicada with like the rolls from like the mazapan. And then it says tratar con cuidado, which means handle with care. And then pinaderia Los Angeles. So yeah, they're based here in LA. Shout out to LA. <laughs> But yeah, I love this one. I love unique t-shirts like this. I'm like very into them right now. So when I saw this one, I was like, hell yeah, I need this. Because it's just so unique and like me. Me. So the shop name is Pina de Ria. I'll have their links down below. Definitely check them out if you're like into pins because they have a lot of unique ones. And then they have this shirt. And this is just so freaking cool. It's kind of like the mazapan, but is it? Is the mazapan delicada or is the girl wearing it delicada? You'll never know. <laughs> So that was everything that I got. I know my style is like all over the place, but that's just where I'm at right now. I just trying to figure myself out, you know. So I really hope you guys enjoyed what I had to share. Make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.